Hello and welcome to Desert Rat Fiber Arts. I'm Desert Rat, but you can call me Lloyd. Today we're going to continue working on our fleece study for 2023. Um, and today we are going to be working with Lincoln. And I believe this is Lincoln Longwool. Um, again, this came from Harside Fibers. I did pay for this myself. I, I'm not sponsored in any way, shape or form. But if you're interested, there will be a link to uh, her Etsy shop where she sells these um, if you want to spin along. So um, I've never worked with Lincoln before. Uh, so let's uh, get a little information on it. The card here says that it's from England. It's 36 to 40 microns. Uh, average staple length is 100 to 150 millimeters, which is 4 to 6 inches. That's what the card says. Now let's look it up in the field guide to fleece. We have here our Lincoln long wool, a conservation breed. There's a picture of the sheep so you can see what he looks like. Or she. And let's uh, read up in here what it has to say about it. Um, origins from England. Fleece weights of 11 to 16 pounds. Wow. 5 to 7.25 kilograms. Uh, staple length is 7 inches to 15 inches. So what we got my, is kind of short compared comparatively for Lincoln. Um, uh, fiber diamonds 33.5 to 45 microns. Natural colors of white, gray, black. Okay, so it's hand spinners have been responsible for the continued existence and breeding of colored lincolns, which are registered separately from the white sheep, as with all of the classic robust long wolves, we need to encourage breeders to maintain the lincoln's unique qualities and not select for wolves that push its fleece to, into the realms of the finer long wolves, like Blueface Lester, Teeswater, and Wensleydale. Okay, these big rare English long wool sheep grow big wool. Heavy fleeces with lots of long shiny fiber that can be spun into sturdy smooth or textured yarns. The firm heavy locks have pointed often spiraling tips and broad well-defined crimp. You can spin directly from the locks, pick, flick, or comb. Viking combs work well. Keep your hands far apart when drafting. Okay. Effects of dye. The luster of this fleece enhances dye colors. Best uses, the use of locks directly to make dolls, wigs, or weave them into fleece rugs. Look for Lincoln Longwool for hard-wearing, sturdy, gorgeous fabrics. Use lamb's wool for finer textiles. The adult fiber should be used for more rugged items such as upholstery, rugs, long-wearing bags, and shiny tapestries. We'll have to work. You'll have to work to get this fleece to felt. Okay. Well, that's good to know. It doesn't felt very well. Um... I'm just curious. Let me grab this other book here. The Fleece and Fiber Source book. I have seen people. Is there a different Lincoln in here? Uh, because there's a vast difference between the the, um, the the lengths of what she has. Lincoln Longwool. Uh, okay, it's just in breeding. Okay, well, let's see. This seems like that's the only reference we have for Lincoln. So let's take a look at the actual fiber itself um, and see what we got here. So I'm going to pull my little card out and put that in my little envelope thing here. This one. And the fiber itself. Okay, so it's. 36 to 40 microns, so it's not going to be that soft. It doesn't feel that bad. Um, let's open this up a bit. It's pretty soft. Let's uh, take a look at this. I'm going to pull off. We're going to pull off another staple length here. Got a bit of wave to it. This looks pretty good size. Let me see what the staple length actually is on this here. So we're looking at about 7 inches of staple length. So a nice long wool. Um, it does feel very soft. So I, I'm 
interested in seeing how this looks after it's spun up. So, let me get my wheel ready. It's here next to me, and we'll start spinning.
Okay, it's the next day. The wool has been wet finished and hung up to dry. And here it is. Um, it's got a lot of drape in it. Uh, not super stretchy. Uh, a little prickly, but still kind of soft. I don't know if I'd do next to skin on it. Um, but it's pretty strong. So if you do weaving, this would probably make a great warp. Um, this would probably make, you know, a great um, sweater that's where, where you wear a shirt underneath it or a cardigan or something like that. Maybe a hat. Um, it was it was actually a lot of fun to spin. It spun up very nicely. I had no real issues with it other than getting my bobbin started. That one bobbin, it just doesn't like the leader on it, I think. Um, so we wound up with the about 22 yards chain ply about an errand weight at about eight wraps per inch um and i got an angry cat outside the door um would i spin this again absolutely it was a joy to spin um i don't know if i'd go out of my way looking for it um if i had a big project of something that i could think of that i could use this for maybe um, but yeah, it was de definitely a, a good spin. I would spin it again if I if I had more of it. Anyways, uh, next week we will be doing. Uh, let's see what did we just do, Lincoln Masham, and I forgot to get it out of the box here. Hang on, just a moment. So Masham, uh, this is what it looks like. It's a nice. Uh, gray heathered color ought to be fun to spin uh, 6 to 15 inches staple length so another long wool so this ought to be fun so until next time this desert rat happy crafting